Digiexpress.us, a leader in iPod parts and repair, providing our customers with quality parts, affordable shipping, and great customer service. Digiexpress.us. We treat your iPod like it's our iPod. Open your iPod case and disconnect the battery cable so that your iPod can lie flat as you see here. Pick up the hard drive and disconnect the cable by flipping up the black tab. Pull the hard drive off of the cable. Disconnect the headphone jack ribbon by flipping up the black tab across from where the cable is inserted. Then, pull the cable from the connector. Pry up the battery and remove it from the back plate. There are four screws holding the headphone jack in place. Remove them, remembering where each one goes. Pry the hold switch from the back plate and remove the screw that holds it to the headphone jack. Pull the hold switch from the bracket. Remove the tape and pull the headphone jack from the back plate. Pry the headphone jack from the metal bracket. Remove the spacer from the headphone jack. Line up the points with the holes on the metal bracket and attach the new headphone jack. Line up the hold switch with the hold switch bracket so that the nub fits into the notch on the bracket. Put the spacer onto the new headphone jack. Put the new headphone jack assembly into the back plate and replace all four screws. Insert the headphone jack cable back into its connector and lock down the tab. Insert the hard drive cable into the hard drive and lock the tab. Make sure that the cable is inserted fully and evenly. The battery connector is located below the hard drive. The white tab on the battery cable should be facing the bottom of the iPod. Carefully press it into the connector. You should feel it snug into place. Do not press too hard as it is easy to break this connector. To close the iPod, lay the iPod on a flat surface and press down firmly. Make sure that all the corners are snapped into place.